I'm sure you're wondering how I got here. See, this is me. I know you can't see me. And this, this is my best friend, Joey. Can't see him either. But you're going to. And along the way, we're going to show you how to take better photos. All right, so today we're going to be talking about three different topics, and there are three points that are going to make you a better photographer um, just all the way around if you don't already do these things. Um, and I think these are good for uh, entry-level photographers is, is, and uh, professional photographers. If you don't think about these things, it's probably something you should think about because um, they do make for good photos, and it's just some things that a lot of people don't always see or always... Um, have in their mind to try to make uh, make these little micro adjustments just to make their photo that much better. So tip number one, lines. So make sure you always use lines to your advantage. Uh, to your advantage? Advantage? Make sure you use lines to your advantage. So uh, lines on the street, um, leading lines, just lines in general that focus towards your subject. So this is an example of leading lines um, on the street. So if you take your picture from an angle and you see how the lines aren't actually leading up to a subject, um, they're just off in the distance kind of doing whatever they're doing. So if you put if you put a subject right there, it doesn't really make sense. But if you move over just a little bit into the middle of the street where you've got the lines from the street headed towards your subject, it makes for a, 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 an immersive photo. Um, because your eyes and everything in the picture is just kind of leading towards the subject. Um, it makes it look a lot better. As you can see here, my daughter um, graciously volunteered herself to be a model. Um, so this is an example of lines leading into your subject, either from behind or in front of your subject. They're probably a little bit out of focus, and that's great. You want that bokeh feel, right, until you get to where your subject actually is. But leading lines like this just make for a better photo all the way around. And don't forget your rule of thirds. That's where she's placed right now in the lower thirds. Um, rule of thirds always makes for a better photo as well. And I'll probably go over rule of thirds in another video. Um, but this is an example of leading lines using rule of thirds. So one more thing before we move on. So that again with the leading lines, if you take this photo with the leading lines from the blinds going into the subject's eyes or their face, it just draws you naturally into their face, right? Into, into their into their into your subject. So you want, always want to use those lines to your advantage. Leading lines is something you can do in pretty much every photo. Um, not always, but uh, most photos you can pull off leading lines leading into your subject. So always look for that. All right, so tip number two, framing. So if you take a look at this picture, um, I'm using Joey, but I'm framing him between the actual side of the frame itself um, in the picture and then the the little, whatever that is, uh, pavilion thing that lifeguards use. Take this next photo where the subject is, being, is in a house that's being built and we place him right in that garage door, right? So, um, that's, that's a great example of framing your subject. So you're framing him out in the photo where he's the subject and it just makes for a better photo. But you also got the example of leading lines right here with the wood planks on the bottom. So you've got those lines with the frame. It just makes for an, an amazing photo, right? Um, so again, frame your shots, make sure you're framing your subjects, all that kind of stuff. When you can, sometimes it's not a viable option, but when you can frame your subjects, it definitely makes for a cool shot.
Tip number three. So this one is um, actually all of these. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. All of these, all these tips that I'm giving you, I've got from the people that I look up to, Peter McKinnon, Chris Howe, uh, Matty Yapoya. I don't, I'm, I'm at Yaboya. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how to say his last name. Um, but, uh, but Matty, Chris Howe, uh, Peter McKinnon, it's all tips that I've gotten off of their channel. So I definitely recommend you go checking out their channels as well. Um, cause they are the, they're the photo gods. I'm just here to relay what I've learned from them. Uh, to be honest, uh, they, they taught me what I know. And, um, and now I'm just passing that on to you. So definitely take these tips, um, cause they don't just come from me. They do come from a lot of the greatest, um, photographers that are on YouTube. So, um, so anyways, this is the, the final one. Tip number three, it's, uh, it's shooting through objects. Now this is a Peter McKinnon, like classic, right? Um, so now this isn't one of his photos this is mine, but shooting through objects, um, to see your subject. So shooting through something does a lot of things. It gives you your leading lines and it gives you your frame most of the time. Um, but it also gives you something in the, in the foreground and in the background. So you're, you're layering your photos depth. So you have a foreground, which is bokeh, and then you've got your subject perfectly in focus, and then you've got your background. So there's a ton to look at in the photo without it being too busy. Um, and that's a, this is a good example of that. Now, if you go to this one, this is another good example of shooting through something. You take this, you take this um, cupcake, um, and you're shooting through other cupcakes, and it's giving the cupcake a frame with the other cupcakes, right? Um, and with this particular cupcake, again, you have leading lines coming up from the, the cupcake wrapper, right? So, um, so you have leading lines, you have your frame, and you're shooting through things, and this is what's gonna make your photos all the more better, right? Last example, I just took this one sitting here um, so that I could show you, but this is my computer. So I shot through the, um, the water cooler hoses, right? Tried to get my RAM. Sorry, I could not think of that for whatever reason. Tried to get my RAM. So you, you're shooting through an object into your, into your PC, um, framing the RAM, right? You're shooting through an object. You've got the leading lines from the hoses that are wrapping around into your subject. It's just perfect. So again, leading lines, frames, shoot through objects and you'll get your pictures. Also, thank you for coming on today's entire journey with me and Joey and my wife. Um, we, uh, we definitely had a good time shooting this video. It really wasn't, it just kind of turned into a uh, top three tips and we just kind of walked around uh, Orlando and Florida uh, and Tampa to get all of these shots for you guys. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did, please give us a like. It does make a difference. Um, the, the, the likes actually do a lot for the algorithm and help us out. So anyways, guys, hit the like button if you like the video. Um, leave us a comment if you want more like this or if you got more tips. I definitely want to hear them. And so does everybody else that watches this video if you've got more tips. Um, so definitely leave those below. And, uh, and we'll see you guys next time. My name is uh, Koi, but I go by Chef Koi RD here on the interwebs. And uh, yeah, I just realized, I just realized that I should have shot the entire video like this. Now my kid's yelling at me, so I gotta go. No, really, just look at that shadow. Like the shadow there. Like, I'm not shooting a YouTube video like I would stream on Twitch ever again. So, uh, so yeah, from now on, enjoy those buttery, buttery shadows. Okay, seriously, bye. <laughs> Why are you so dumb? I don't know. <laughs>